Welcome back to FCK Food. We're putting the relationship between food and football under the microscope. And this week, we're going grassroots. Ryan, Malik, plus FCK gaffer and Norwich City legend Darren Eady are up on the Norfolk coast to take a look at what's on the menu at Sheringham FC. The Sheringham boys have lost seven out of the last 10 games, so they're hoping the FCK lads bring them a touch of luck today. Plus, Kraft burger owner and injured Sheringham player Andy will serve up some meat-free grub to refuel the lads after the match. This is Football Fuel. Okay, boys, uh, this is the home of Sheringham Town, the Shannocks, all right? Proper grassroots football. I'm going to introduce you to all the players that are in the today. Now, we've got Nathan here as our goalkeeper. He's about the fifth goalkeeper we've had this season. Um, and he's the size of about five of them. He needs to lose a bit of timber. We've got Connor Carey, who thinks he's a bit of a player, on and off the pitch, apparently, yes, as well. You've got Coxie. Coxie. Mr. Sheringham, yeah? yeah? Like a 50-year-old oh, fisherman. Fine beard. That's what he's like. Fine beard. Danny Rogers. Sometimes he plays like Alan Shearer. Other times he plays like Alan off the hangover. All right. Sanzi. Basically a mute. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on to the next boys. Hallers. Hallers. Actually a decent ball, all right, but he's the only man... He's the only man I know, right, that can make a white kit look shit. Here's Cole Horton, the albino Darren Eady. Here's Tim Carey. Tim Carey, top goal scorer. Proper baller, but runs with a fucking stone in his shoe. He runs with that the whole time. Crosby. He had a tragic skiing accident. They had to cut off the third bottom of his legs. They sewed his feet back on just so he could play football. This is Alex, he's the baby of this squad, so you might want to blur his face out for safeguarding reasons. This is Boise, best player in our team. So he says, centre forward, midfield, left back. We're not quite sure which his position is yet, but we're still trying to find it. And this is the gaffer, Chris Wigger. Don't make him angry, that's all I can say. But we're here for one reason today, we're here to get three points. You boys are here for another reason, to talk about vegan food with the boys afterwards. What do you normally eat straight after a match? Meat. Meat. What is it? Meat. <laughs> yeah. Meat. We want meat. meat. Wash down with a bit of alcohol. Yeah. yeah. Nice sweet. one. Cheers boys, we'll see you after the game. This is Josh Keras, he was hiding. Fine lads, <laughs> A few miles away in neighbouring town, Cromer, Andy is prepping the post-match meal. I'm going to do a corn chicken and vegetable uh, pasta bake with vegan cheese, topped with vegan cheese. We're served with these um, barbecue spiced sweet potato wedges and garlic bread, gluten-free garlic bread slices, which Ronnie's now doing. But this sauce is going to take about four hours to infuse and cook, um, and it'll make it really thick and it'll go really dark in colour as well. A few of the boys have tried my cooking before anyway and quite enjoy it, so they've not tried anything plant-based. I think they're going to take to it really well. If you put the word plant-based or vegan or veggie in front of it, people just stay away from it, especially if you're a traditional meat eater. Um, but I think it's, it's a huge thing now and I think for everybody, I've spoke to a few of my friends who play football with sports. One bloke's 40, he's, he's done the switch and he said he's fitter than he's ever been, he's healthier than he's ever been, he's running faster, harder, further and he runs marathons. Um, stops lactic acid build up, which you get from meat, uh, and, uh, you know, meat and salt. So, and I have noticed that over the last few games I've played. I've eaten the right meal the day before, the right meal pre-game as well. And I haven't had any, any lactic acid build up. I've had no cramps uh, and I've felt healthier running along the pitch. So for me, the signs are there. Um, so hopefully we can push forward and see, see how it helps everyone else. Back in Sheringham, the boys have been warming up and are ready to take on Framlingham Town. What's he got? What's he got? So at the minute, uh, Shinem are one 0 up. Although Farlingham have had a lot of possession, they're knocking the ball about beautifully. Good boy, Alex. Um, this is fucking. First and foremost, well done. Fucking good art. What I will say is that half 
is played at such a fucking high tempo, all right? You slow it down, all right? There's more chances in this second half, okay? The way you're playing, the stuff you're playing, is gonna open up more. You fucking defend, you defend, you defend. If you do that, you don't give them a fucking sniff. Come on, come on, come on. Keep driving, keep driving. Keep driving. With 90 minutes and a much needed win under their belt, it's time for the boys to refuel with Andy's vegan pasta bake, garlic bread, and barbecue sweet potato wedges. Tuck in, boys, have yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> It tastes exactly like chicken. I tell you, if you wouldn't, even the texture of it, if you wouldn't tell them it's vegan food. Exactly, that's know. what I said, yeah. <laughs> Boys are having it, they're liking it. Hey, look. They're all tuck tucking in, look, they're waiting. Well, they like them. What did you make of that? You just like, honestly, in your honest opinion. No, it actually tastes nice, but you know it's not meat. So, so. what's the what, what do you what, So if nobody told you it wasn't meat, would you eat it and then just carry on your life yeah, and not yeah, worry about it? Yeah. Why would you not eat that then? Oh, Choose to eat it. it. It's actually all right. But, all right. Yeah. So he sends more shorties. Too much it, aubergine isn't? for me, to be fair. Are you a bit fussy? Yeah. Don't mm. really like aubergine. But would you Are consider? You right? Would you consider eating less meat? Would you <laughs> consider you eating less meat? It's a big ask. That is a big ask, yeah. Uh, at the moment. At the moment, no. Oh, uh, yeah, to be fair, if everything, I couldn't cook nothing like that, so. It's easy to cook other stuff, isn't it? It's just, it's lazy then. You get your then. frozen chucker in the oven. <laughs> you just food, a bit late. A beige tea. You just who, a... who loves a beige tea? Um, so if you saw yeah. that food today and there was a burger there, you'd go for the burger instead? Most probably. Is that because you yeah. know well, what it is? if you told me it wasn't vegan, then I'd have thought, fucking hell, this is nice. Would you? Yeah, it did taste nice. Right, Chris, first and foremost, congratulations on today's win. Yeah, no, really chuffed for that. It's been a long time coming for a win for us. We've been putting in performances, but I think, I think you know, we got what we deserved the last few weeks recently. I think probably having you guys here made the lads raise their game a little bit when I mean, they got the cameras in their faces. But... Okay, big Andy, he's done well here today, hasn't he? What a spread. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, you said that he's a former player. He's someone who's injured at the moment and he's played a part in this season. Um, he's a really, really positive guy. I mean, we're talking about someone who runs a burger restaurant. You know, so his business is made around meat. But to turn around and get involved with you guys and do that, do that, that food today has been fantastic. He's a really talented guy. He's got a lot to offer, and he's done you yourselves and us a real favour today. So. And act, so you were telling us earlier on. Well, actually, Darren told us a little yeah. birdie in her ear. Told us that you went vegan for three months. Yeah, well, it was this time last year. I started in sort of September, October. I watched the program on TV, um, and and. I was someone that's always had to have meat in every single meal. If my missus was cooking a veggie curry, it's like, you were putting chicken in that, do me some chicken. <laughs> so I had to have meat in every meal. And we watched this programme and I said to her, I said, look, I want to try it for a month. I want to try it for a month and see how I feel. We, we did a month and I got to the end of the month and I started feeling really good. I had really good energy levels. Um, I said, well, we'll do two months. We did two months, that turned into three. And the only reason we kind of stopped was because coming up to Christmas, it was like, I want turkey, I want cheese, I want all those things. Yeah, I want the breakfast that we normally have. But, but what it's done for me, personally, is it's opened my mind to not having to have meat in every meal. So we'll probably eat meat twice a week, if that, but we'll know where it's sourced from. You know, it's just, it's changed my mindset on how we eat and what I'm prepared to put in, inside myself. And, and it's just really opened my eyes to things. What was it when you were watching the programme? What was it with, that really jumped out at you and head home and made you think, God, I need to change what I'm putting in my body here? Th these programmes can be biased, you know, so they can obviously make you think a certain way. But there was lots of things. It was it was about the carcinogenic effects of, of processed foods. And I know you can get carcinogenic effects from vegan processed foods, but it was about processed foods. And then there was the, the health benefits with regards to some of the secrets that you don't hear about from the big companies, the, the, the diabetes side of things, the secrets that you don't hear about. And it just made me open my eyes a bit to, 
uh, it wasn't all environmental, it wasn't all health benefits, it was just watching the programme made me think, I just want to change the way we're doing things for a little bit and, and have a look at ourselves. Right, now obviously the lads here, they they all look pretty happy, I've seen a couple of empty clean bowls, do you yeah. think do you think are they going to carry this on through the season, is it something you might implement into a, a winning strategy? Well, I, I, think, I think, to be fair, I think all the comments I've heard from the lads have been really positive. And if, if, if you can change one person's mindset out of the squad of 15, then, then you're doing something, you're doing something positive. You know, and it's, it, is, it, it is environmental, it is, does have health benefits in my opinion. So yeah, I think, I think it's something that we'll push. I've, I've got certain beliefs with regards to how I've gone about my diet. So I think, I think it's something that we'll look to introduce more. Nice, well, okay, well here, you've had vegan today, so you yeah. can enjoy the pints now. You, you're, you're, you're allowed yeah. a, a bit of a cheat, so you are. Yeah. <laughs> That's it from us this week. If you have any experiments or dishes you'd like us to try on the channel, then let us know in the comments. Visit our website at fckfood.com.